These easy homemade protein balls are perfect anytime you're feeling hangry or you have kids who are asking for snacks. Hey everyone, it's Erin from wellplated.com and I believe in healthy recipes that are easy, budget friendly, and that your family will love. Life is busy. You're trying to get out the door, you've got kids that are asking you for snacks, but you don't want to reach into a box for something processed or stop at the McDonald's drive-thru. That is why you need these easy homemade protein balls. The recipe is so simple, I actually love to make them with my nieces. They are kid approved, those same nieces can't get enough, and they will save you in the middle of a busy day. Let's get started. Start out with peanut butter or almond butter, your choice. I can eat this by the spoonful. Mm. This is actually going to add some protein and healthy fats to our protein balls so that they will keep us full throughout the day. As does this ingredient, protein powder. These actually pack seven grams of protein per protein ball, which is a lot for home, something that is homemade. I love that it actually keeps me full in between meals and when I'm on the go. Next up, coconut flour. This used to be kind of a hippy dippy product, but it has gone totally mainstream. I love it because it is high in protein, are you seeing a theme here, and fiber so it will what? Keep you full. Next we add just a touch of honey, you can totally eyeball this, add a little more if you would like it sweeter. And now we are going to add one spice that I just have to have, cinnamon. It makes these taste like balls of raw cookie dough, I kid you not, especially now that we're adding this vanilla extract. Speaking of cookie dough, my favorite kind is chocolate chips, so you better believe that that is what I'm adding. I like to use dark chocolate chips, so you can use really any you like. Add a handful, feel free to sneak in a few more if you feel so called. Now, one of the best things about these protein balls is that you don't need to get your food processor dirty. All it takes is a bowl, spoon, and spatula. If at any point it starts to look too dry, just splash in a little bit of extra milk. Some brands of coconut flour are drier than others, so you may need to adjust accordingly. As soon as your protein ball batter holds together when you roll it in your fingers, that is when you know that you are good to go. This recipe will make about 12 protein balls. I like to use a cookie scoop like this one to make them about the same size. And this is very fun and kind of satisfying to do with your fingers. If you want, you can actually make a double batch of these because they're super freezer friendly. Then next time when you are tempted to reach for a shiny wrapper or box, you don't need to because you know you have these beauties at your disposal. I like to put mine right into a container, quality test, and then I can pop them into the fridge. That is definitely where you want to store these. Plus, I have to keep them out of my eyesight or I just eat them all day long. It is my favorite time of day and that is snack time. These protein balls can last for weeks in your refrigerator, not that you're going to have them around that long, or even longer in your freezer. They're a great thing to keep with you if you're running errands or if you have kids that are constantly reaching for snacks. They are gonna love these. You'll love that they're made with simple ingredients and guess what? They taste like chocolate chip cookie dough. Here we go. Mmm. So delicious and I love that I know exactly what's in them. Now that is well plated. 